I love the Steam Deck, guys. It is easily my favorite console to have come out ever. And it honestly is amazing that I can just take a PC game with me wherever I go. Not only that, I can mod the games like I could on the PC, and the experience is just great so far. Aside from usual Linux trickery that needs to happen, the Steam Deck has been very solid. Problem is, while it has been solid, there is a lingering issue that currently makes the lowest model very difficult to use, and it even affects the next tier up. And that is an issue where the Steam Deck just refuses to launch any game whatsoever. And there's also an additional issue that seems to happen around the same time where the internal storage gets full, even if there's nothing on it. This is a particularly weird issue for me because I actually store all of my games on micro SD cards. This is a micro SD card holder. This one has a terabyte micro SD card in it that I can just slot in like a cartridge onto the Steam Deck. And it works that way. But unfortunately, my internal storage is full of something. And the truth is, I think that these two are correlated and I'll explain why. So let's get right into it. Hello and welcome. My name is Wolfie and you are watching Greater Than Pi. Let's start with the diagnosis. So what is happening consistently every time the Steam Deck gets into the mode where it won't launch a single game? Well, fortunately, we know that we're having issues with storage because the storage error message actually pops up every single time saying that our storage is lower. What I'm assuming is happening on a software level is that the micro SD card is transferring some of its data to internal storage to allow the game to load more efficiently. The truth is the micro SD cards inside the Steam Deck are still standard speed micro SD cards, but they load like they are on the internal storage itself. This is actually a technology that AMD has already and is not something that is unheard of in the PC space. Using a sort of SSD cache, if you will, Intel Octane was another version of that. So my leading hypothesis is that what is happening here is the Steam Deck is trying to move data from the micro SD card to its internal storage and the internal storage is unfortunately unable to receive it because it is full. But the question is, what is taking up all that space? And to that, we're gonna have to do some digging. All right, so here's a pretty good representation of this problem. You see, there are exactly three things installed on the Steam Deck right now. There is Proton, which is taking up a gig and 0 0.04. And then about less than a gigabyte remaining for Steam uh, Runtime Soldier and Steamworks Common Distributables. So something is obviously wrong here because how are we using up the entirety of 39.97 gigabytes. That, that is the question. And so with only 4.22 gigabytes remaining, we need to fix whatever issue this is in order to allow us to actually continue to use the Steam Deck because I, unfortunately, if this bar fills up, the Steam Deck will enter a lockdown mode that is best described as refusing to launch anything and not telling you anything. So I think the best course of action is going to be for us to hop into the desktop mode and see if we can find out what is taking up the space because it's not reporting to Steam what it is. Let's open up our file manager and let's take a look at our main drive. Properties, what's in here? So about 1.3 gigabytes, so that's not our problem. Uh-huh, in here though, there we go. 38 gigabytes, so what is in here? All right, we got desktop. All right, makes sense, templates, videos. Hello, I think we found it. Okay, so it's gonna be in this folder. Oh, huh, which one? This one. 
is in here. You know what? Let me check here. Steam sounds the most realistic culprit, and it is. We're just tracking these files down, trying to figure out where they are. There we go. Okay, so it's on Steam apps. All right. Is it compact data just like with Skyrim? No, that is down to just five giggies. Shader cache. Aha. So we found the file. It is the shader cache file. Now, this is a bit odd because while well, the shader caches are actually game specific, they're not something that really should be stored on the main storage unless they need to be accessed immediately. So there is a way that I think we can fix this. By using a little bit of Linux trickery, we can probably move this to the SD card and still have the Steam Deck work the way it's supposed to. We're going to actually have to make a link archived file. Now, this is something you can do in Windows too. Uh, it's just a shortcut file. But fortunately, because I've been messing around with Linux, I have experienced this a little bit. So what we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to figure out what these IDs correlate to which game. Unfortunately, you can't really dig around the file to find out, but I do know that Skyrim is this number right here because of my modding video that I actually did before this one. So we can take that, move it to our Skyrim SD card, and then create a link archive between the two of them. This means whenever this data is called upon, which will only be when the SD card is installed with Skyrim, it will access that folder and immediately go to the SD card instead of staying on the main memory. Hypothetically, this should have absolutely no repercussions. Delete that. All right, all right, all right. And then we're gonna create a new. We're gonna name it the same thing, 489830. And we're gonna paste it to this location. Okay. Hey, I think that worked. All right, well, really the only way to find out is well, to test it. Let's see if Skyrim just launches. Oh, but it's gonna try to play my old version of this. Eh, well, if it launches and it doesn't do anything, like update the directories, then we're all good. And then we can just do that for every game. Brilliant! Load a new character just because that will be easier than trying to configure the mods, which I'm gonna have to do anyway later. Cause I was actually already getting my files ready to transfer back over to here to get a new version of it running. But no, we're alive. And shaders look pretty good. Looks like it's supposed to. Oh, it's supposed to with the mods, I should say. Yeah, no, that is good. That is good, that is good, that is good. So it seems like it worked and it doesn't seem like the storage changed very much, which is very unusual. So let me see if I can figure out what's going on here and we'll determine it further. Let's actually use my main SD card and actually put the rest of the files on there and maybe see if maybe Skyrim just didn't need that much data. Okay, we're back from doing that. And that took a little bit longer than expected because um, there were a lot of files and linking them all individually is a bit tricky. But now that the two SD cards that had games on them have the correct shaders attached to it, I can now sort of take the guesswork out of doing this again. I did figure out why the storage wasn't changing. I didn't empty the trash bin. <laughs> Apparently the Steam Deck moves everything to trash and doesn't auto delete anything. Uh, it was a bit tricky to get around some of these files. So I emptied out the trash bin and if you look at it now, you can see that we have 32.19 gigabytes free. Meaning most of our internal storage is now completely free. And I did go ahead and test it. It works on every single game, not just Skyrim. I can load up Cyberpunk. I can load up anything that was actually already on that SD card. So this works and it worked well, it worked easily. And my games are launching again. So, so it seems that we have 
fixed it. We've actually killed two birds with one stone. The storage filling up with phantom data, and more importantly, the Steam Deck not launching games. But that's where we're gonna end it today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, consider giving it a like, commenting, subscribing. I hoped that this helped you guys. This is something that was plaguing my Steam Deck from the beginning. And fortunately now, it's no longer a problem. And I will continue to use this until Valve offers a patch that works in its favor. If not, uh, well, Valve, this is free information for you guys. This is a problem with your Steam Deck. Go ahead and just implement this. Like, this is not too bad. It, it works just fine. So, yeah, just if you do that, I don't know, leave a comment or something. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but that's where we're going to end. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Wolfie, out.